1000 per ream. Castle Stronghold. Okay. So that's a matchup. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> We're going to be playing it. I feel like this matchup is actually like super heavily um, castle favored. Hmm. Uh, the reason is because against castle, you kind of have to go aggro, but I would say Stronghold has like one of the hardest times going aggro up against a castle player. Uh, because of this, you really have to go like far for the castle bet. If I, would, if I was able to get the color as well for like pretty cheap, like 600. Ooh, okay. Hey, Dijen. Hey, Milanel. Welcome, people. How's it going? I feel like I'm a little bit sluggish right now. I don't really know why, but it feels like something that I can just shake off. Uh, before the stream, we're just lying down and uh, watching some stuff. Basically, on autopilot. It feels like a little bit weird. Um. Anyway, yeah. It's pretty good in general, though. Hey, Hundo. Hi, bro. While we are alone, can we do some naughty stuff? Of course. But then again, we're not alone right now, so... <laughs> so, we go castle, and of course we go Adelaide, and then I think I should be going for the gold bonus this time around. So, here we are. I'm paying 6,000 for the sake of this trade. It's one of the uh, more high-end trades in the um, template that is available. But then again, I'm the best color and the best faction versus one of the worst factions and, of course, the worst color. Uh, so yeah, that is already quite the trade. <laughs> hey, Coconut. Ooh, we have Marchman. Um, that's pretty cool. Then wait, how do I approach this? I think I should go for these scrolls immediately and then take it from there. Uh, the boss is pretty good too. Division is pretty nice. We have a cold side, it's my volume. Uh, middle is Inferno, and that's my opponent's volume. Uh, okay. We didn't land anything like too impactful, but um, yeah, it's decent. I'm gonna be not going for this immediately. I will instead go ahead and pick up some other things along the way. I often have Dimension Door and Fly, which could be good, but we'll see. So I'll keep this. It seems okay-ish. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we both keep. Ooh, that's an interesting play, by the way. I can go here, and then I can go here with Fly. Then I could Dimension Door immediately right now into this position right here. And I think that's actually worthwhile. Um, and by the start of next time, I'll be able to... Um, yeah, then I'll be able to TP back and then get out of the bunker, finally. Hey, Apakali. Hey, Phil, thank you. Ooh. Mistake, minus 21 moves uh, because of my ordering. Unfortunate. I should be able... Yeah, that's only like 4k. That was uh, pretty cheap. And then I think I should not move out of the main this turn. I should instead be chilling inside. So I'm leaving day 4 out of the bunker, but... It's a pretty good day for leave, honestly. All things considered. And then also town I mean, yeah, town hall is gonna be a thing to you. Unless you go out for PP. Thank you. Hey pumpkin. Hey Adel. <laughs> Gamba. Oh yeah, we can, we should have Gamba. Uh prediction start. And uh here we go. And close this and yeah. So we'll leave the bunker on this turn, and I'm gonna be picking up the knowledge along the way. Mmm, that's a nice box. I'm able to take it down, but I'm not able to get inside. Uh, considering the map right now, that's really unfortunate, because the map will not lead me towards my main town. I'll have to go, like, all the way around. Honestly, this looks like the kind of game where I should be... Uh, Buying out the uh, school, uh, Magic University. But I can't even do that that well because of the um, layout of the... Um, I mean, because of gold, basically. I'll take logis the logistics here. By the way, yeah, the boss is amazing. That's really good. But I hope I'll be starting to go towards my main town sometime soon by this point. My week one is going to be like very uh, simple. But simple is not bad. As long as I get like a decent start and I'm, and I'm able to clear fives by the start of the 
New week, then yeah, it's all kind of good. Well, good is an exaggeration, but it's okay. Is what I mean. Uh, pick up the army, and yeah, let's move on. And yeah, the road seems like it's completely abysmal. Like, my town is right over here, by the way, but my road is leading to the right. My Inferno town is closer than my, main, than my main town. That means I start building it up, like, really at a late point. Uh, which is just straight up kind of awful, really. Please don't treat it as backseating, but why did you decide to build Town Hall over Mage Guild in Maine? Uh, resources. Usually, I just like having resources uh, available to me. And also, income is pretty good too, the earlier, the earlier you get it. I would have had, if I built a Mage Guild, I would have had one extra Dimension Door. Uh, one Dimension Door is usually not really worth a lot in terms of what you're getting out of it. Even in this case scenario, I wouldn't have really been able to go like diagonally with one Dimension Door. You would need to, otherwise you would be at a very, very high risk um, to get stuck. Which of course would be really, really awful. Anyway, I guess we're getting this down. Then we're going back through to here. I wonder if getting this is good. No, I need. I really need to get my main down at least by next turn. Which is already really late, but you know, we have to uh, make deal with what we've got. My stable summons that'd be like pretty awful as well. I mean, yeah. There's still like a lot for us to accomplish if we want to be having at least a decent game. I will pick up this box actually. I'm like a decent chunk away. Uh, but if this box is the difference between for me not reaching down, then that's pretty awful. Uh, yep. Seems legit. Thanks for the explanation. Yeah, no problem. Blue odds below 99%. Go, go. Bet with these insane odds. Huh. Wait, actually these ones stack? No, this one stack and then these. Okay. Then we can go ahead and grab... Actually, this could be Griffins. Oh no. I was really hoping for Archers or Marksmen, but I think Griffins are actually decently likely. Which is a little bit good end. I should probably walk up and hit this. Yeah, this is a better setup. Mm-hmm. I kind of should walk out and uh, hit some of these zombies with the uh, Hobbidae stack. Um, that is very nice. There we go. Scouting! And yeah, this is Griffins, very unfortunate. Oh my God, and I at least reach it down on week one, which uh, is an awful timing. I mean, 1 7 is an awful time for the, mid the main town, but at least we have like a decent skill tree. You know, there's some silver linings in here that we can look at in order to keep our mental afloat. Uh, for the average, appreciate yourself, thank you. Good afternoon, are you winning? Uh, so far, the start looks uh, pretty terrible. Uh, but we'll get through it. I should most definitely build a mage guild, then the marksman, and then I should build a star building. Griffin play one time. No, well, I mean, we're gonna be playing with these griffins. Um, very unfortunately so, but of course they're gonna be not the priority and not what you want to do. They will be um, an unfortunate happening, basically. This is gonna be some marksman over here, which is pretty amazing. Uh, these guys over here. Hmm. And then the royals will slide in here, which is just great. Uh, yep. Then we could even take retail and hit them like a little bit. Uh, yep. Then we have advanced earth. Oh my god, please stop. I do not want to do this. No. No, not the royal parrots! Did anything but the royal parrots, come on. Come on, mercy on me. Like, the game has been awful to me so far. 
Does it have to be awful to me like uh, the rest of the way to you? Come on. Not, not cool, not cool. Yeah, then he, they will actually be forced to move back immediately. Um, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nice. Okay. Uh, what? That is Arctris? 12 Gavin Days is Arctris? Uh, I am so bamboozled by what's going on in this game so far. I'm so confused. Hmm. Wait, I'm so confused actually. How is that ever a thing? Okay, that's pretty good. Monks, okay. Amazing. So my current farming is actually like so good. I have uh, so many ranged creatures that will be able to just like pew pew and clear everything. That's amazing. Um, hell yeah. Archers and bear dwelling. But yeah, one of them doesn't matter though, you know? Uh, there's gonna be like, oh my, oh my god, these bosses are so good though. So despite having like a really slow start to the game, we have like some really juicy good things going on here. Um, nice. I like that, I like that. Then, what do we do after? I mean, yeah, there's quite a few things to do. Uh, the timing for some of these objects is completely awful, though. Okay, we see both the portal glorious. Um, that's really cool. Air magic! So now we have a really, really good skill tree. Like, this skill tree is already pretty much best of slot. Uh, but now I need a lot of experience to, like, round everything up. This is probably gonna be Crusaders. I can't really imagine this being monks. Well, actually, I can imagine, but... My imagination doesn't exactly matter. Mm-hmm. Yep. Then more experience, more army. Actually, this is looking like a good game so far. Yeah, like a good, strong game. Amazing. Ah, uh, there we go. Ah, uh, more speed, more army. Are we gonna be getting hit here? Uh, yeah, I may as well get hit like this. Yeah, this is gonna be the best. We basically spread out the stack, so they, there's no, like, big stack for them to hit. Uh, which is awesome. Then we can go back and make faster the Angel by this point. Then we can do this boss for more monks, then do the other portal glory, then start doing the Naga Banks for good XP and gold, so I can actually build up the downs. My resources are pretty fine, and right now what I still need to do is I need to get myself, uh, I need to, like, to scout out the stockpiles and be ready to do them the moment that we should. Uh, which is gonna be soon by this point, for sure. Uh, yep, we can pick up the barracks and the few swordsmen that we can. Uh, let's go. I do need to do the fights, even if they're gonna be painful. It's gonna be worth getting the experience. By the way, actually, that was a decent auto. Uh, why? Stop giving parot! I don't want parot. Bruh. Like, what is that? It's so bad. Hmm, I should do this. Yep, that's real good. Then only like two or three levels, Dell Expert um, Air, which is gonna be one of the last uh, big um, milestones for me this game, in terms of my hero level. But yeah, Nagabang said this sort of timing, like so effectively, is very, very, very nice. Uh, Shade Amazing. 
Then, by this point, we should... Wait, did we get a mage guild over here? No, we didn't. Should we? We should... Probably not, because we want to be in Middleheim to pick up the stables anyway. Uh, we can still do stables, Monastery Portal Glory, easily. Uh, yep. We can also build out the marketplaces right now as well. Uh, yep, yep. We know you're gonna win this, because you got that big bird stack. It, listen, I'm probably gonna win this, but the, the bird stack has nothing to do with it. The good skill tree and the amazing boxes. Well, okay, the amazing boxes, no. Uh, the box count and the box quality are really on point, but the fact that they're birds makes this a lot weaker anyway. Um, that's what actually is. Actually, I could have checked out this army, but I didn't. Uh, by the amount of control that you use before moving back, it looks like he has a lot of knowledge already. Uh, we can just, like, confirm it instead of guessing it. No, that's fine. Oh yeah, we are picking up the stables immediately. And then... Wait, you can see it again? No, I can't. I mean, not anymore. Hmm... We should probably fly over here to this boss and then go towards the left. Hmm, okay. Zella! That's amazing. What a great box. This is gonna be like a pretty big one too, right? Yeah. The fact that the Zealots and Monks are not in a single stack is a little bit awful. Not only a little bit. Swordsman! We should definitely have them to Crusader, so they are gonna be able to carry Utopias and stuff like that. Uh, and we have another bird box. I don't even want to pick it up. Oh my god, I don't even want to pick it up. Maybe it's not birds, you know? Maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I'm a little bit paranoid for no reason. Maybe in life, not everything is gonna be, like, awful, right? That doesn't have to be this way. No, it has to be. Okay, bro. Uh, actually, data fine. Uh, I really do need my expert air by this point. Like, pretty badly. Mm -hmm. Here. 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 Okay, that will do ish. At least in terms of gold, I'm doing really good. Amazing. Then, yeah, back over here. So we collected far more army, and now we are actually so strong. There's more boxes over here. There's a Nagabank and a Stockpile over in that direction, too. No, what do I want to do this turn? Uh, there's some treasuries to be done. Maybe I want to head over to the to this direction and head for the new town. That could be a thing, too. Yeah, getting Expert Air is going to be like a pretty big priority, too. Oh, yeah, I did this. Oops. That's my bad. Big? Not big. Small. I can get this easily. Okay, so I found the library. Do I see the Utopia? I don't think I have the information about the Utopia positioning. Okay, now I do. So I found the Utopia, I found the library, and I gained a town that's gonna be like adjacent to them. It's an actually pretty decent turn. Not bad. Then on this turn, I already want to build the monastery. And then probably on this turn, I just want to build the uh, upgraded barracks. Do I? I mean, I do, but am I committing to it? I think I should. Hmm. Don't forget to build. Yeah, I'm not forgetting. I'm not forgetting. Can you talk a little about the, why I skipped the Ogre boss? Was it the, the amount of movement? Ah, uh, yes. There's an Ogre boss over here, but there's nothing like adjacent next to it. So this boss would probably be like something like Griffins or Marksman, which is a decent army boss. However, um, going out of my way towards a, a new direction for the sake of only that seems like a little bit slow to me. When I'm gonna be going somewhere, it has to be like a really good objective, or there has to be like multiple objectives um, next to each other to make it worthwhile. And I didn't feel like it was worthwhile to go for that one. Um, yeah, that's how I feel about that one. I really- wait, maybe I upgrade the monastery instead. Actually, I think the monastery upgrade is just straight up better. I know that I have to build out the angels next turn already. Um, that's all I want this. This will make all the fights like way better to accomplish. Um, here, here, here. Yeah, that will do. Easy. 
Uh, then where do I go? I wonder if I can actually do both of those objectives. If I could, that would be amazing. I'm not entirely sure if I can, though. Yeah, I can. So I can do two stockpiles and nag bang on the same turn. Like, yeah, that's amazing. Reliable again. Um, are you taking most of Utopia? Yes, they're Zealous, so they have no melee penalty. They're gonna be doing a good job there. I'm sure. Here, actually. Oh, yeah, that will do. Uh, Diplo to round up my skill tree seems pretty fine. Yeah, yeah of course we do the dagger bank. That's uh, that's another big reason on why we came here. And we already have the resources to buy out the Portal of Glory next turn. By the way, this is like a really big one. That is amazing. And by the way, I didn't one-shot that. What? I do no damage? I guess I only have 4 attack. But damn, that's like 48 monks that's not one-shotting those. Weird. Bizarre. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I could be flagging the monastery. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Oh, possibly a 50% angel diplo. Wow. Um, that's kind of amazing. I also need to play a little bit faster. We are kind of low on time by this point. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Mm, no, let's not go silo yet. Oh, you take him. Oh, yeah. By the way, Marka left. Appreciate yourself. Thank you. I mean, look at many good artists come your way, like Shab. Many, thanks. We can immediately build a portal of glory, and then with this, I'm pretty sure I can do the library and the utopia on the same turn, which is gonna be like a pretty good one, I guess. <laughs> Probably. I'm actually not that strong. Maybe we should be doing something else. Am I doing a big Utopia or am I only doing a small one? I think I'm only doing a small one. I only did most of the good banks and the biome though. Apart from the Utopia, naturally. Hmm? What? Wait, I can't even move more. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, well, that's awful. I guess I'm just not doing it then. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> that's an awful positioning. Yeah, let's chill. I'll do it next turn when I get, like, the new angels, when I can upgrade the crusaders to, I mean, the swordsmen to crusaders and so on. I'll be way, way stronger by that point. Uh, seems like a logical thing to do. There's not that much good uh, good that's left in the volume. By the way, I'm actually really surprised how well we're doing. Uh, we have like a really good hero, really good, um, I mean, pretty good army. Okay, the opponent went to Utopia, huh? Alright, alright. Upgrade the barracks. 5,400 gold you know, for that upgrade. Yikes. Oh, uh, there we go. It is worth it. It is worth it for sure. No, but like with these, I kind of want to do the Utopia after all. You know what the I'll do it. Why is this utopia positioning so awkward? Oh my god, I cannot take one step down. Is it better to take two here like this or then one, two, three, four? I think it's better to do it this way. Okay. Uh then here the girlfriends will get focused. These guys are gonna be um Actually, here, here, that's the best. Uh, this will produce the biggest opportunity for the Griffins to get focus, which is exactly what I want. Yeah, you see, the Griffins are getting focus, that's amazing. Mm, well, not only the Griffins are getting focus, but still, it's not too candy.
I should be taking the uh, break fight on this turn. No! I, I realized that I don't need to do this, so I can actually save my mana. Then I can just, like, move in there. And, well, yeah, okay. Anyway, my... Mm, yeah, shame. But it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Movement over Raiden. Uh, it's been a while since I actually timed out with a lot of movement points, by the way. But, yeah, I did now. I did now. This doesn't look like a 50% join. There's like three Cyclops breaks, but if all of them were joining, then I could make a big, big Cyclops spell stack. But I don't think that's going to be that relevant right now. Right now I need Goose and Cornucopion. If I were to get those, then I'd be just straight up good to go. I don't really care about the Moss, man. One stack's overrated, yeah. Hmm. They're definitely blocking the Moxman. Oh, they're not. Uh, wow. Wait, I should do the battle faster. I'm gonna be timing out again. Um, here. Yeah, the guy's just gonna rock. Block hits. Holy Jesus! Do you, by the way? Do you? Oh no. Um, cheat. Oh, that's bad. Minus two angels. Just like that. I thought they were not reaching. What's wrong with me? Um, go for this one. Mm hmm. Uh, the other lost something. I'm gonna be losing less. Uh, take, take, uh, middle high, make fast, um, that's good. Uh, sure, okay, so that's the turn. Then, uh, I need to start building up the, um, uh, wait, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I cannot skip a turn of building for the sake of the, uh, for the sake of that. Um, that's fine, so what else can I do? I can pick up the Sword of Judgment pretty easily. Uh, taking, taking the arena along the way. I also see the Tome of Air Magic, which is one of the most important artists in the entire game, so of course we're gonna be picking that up. Um, this looks like a 50% uh, Angel join, and this looks like a 50% Angel join as well, possibly. If we can get both of those and upgrade them to Archangels, then I'm gonna be just like in a perfect spot this game. Um, it's not exactly that easy to get there though. Um, I need to play faster, I need to play better. Mm-hmm. No, probably not. I have, like, enough uh, things to farm over on my side, so that's gonna be, like, good enough. Okay, so he's not pushing mid, at least. Then I can go back into this place. I can... Oh, I don't have visions, right? Okay. Um, that's fine. As long as I play fast, then it's all gonna be okay. Um, like this, like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got breathed. By the Black Dragoon. Uh, pretty unfortunate, but that's okay. I have a Ring of Oblivion on, I know this. Mm hmm. I definitely need this. I mean, that's what the game was for. So now we're getting like decent stats, and like this is like casting in a single turn. Uh, which is amazing. Naturally. Uh, this will do it. Mm hmm Can I do Utopia on the same turn, please? Yes, I can. Uh, then we need to equip and then actually just go for it. I definitely need to get out of here on this turn as well. My mana is fine. Yeah. Um, the... I mean, the Utopia is kind of garbage. By the way, build, 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 build. Um, there we go. Got him, got him, got him. 
Would it be even close to viable to flag fire lakes on the desert and build a pre-dies in Inferno Town? Uh, yes, it would be close to viable. Uh, desert, uh, Inferno Mid-Desert has an enormous amount of, uh, Inferno box, I mean, uh, 3D boxes. For some reason, it feels like every single boss is, like, 3D. Um, stacking that, stacking that up by also building 3Ds from the Fire Lakes would be a pretty good strategy. But by that point, you should probably be controlling Mid, like the Middle Town, and then double building them, too. So, yeah. I can't really have that. I mean, I cannot make that happen. I'm unable to make that happen, so that's, like, not really relevant to me right now, though. Uh, yeah, visions. Uh, in a mood for a fight, and uh, I cannot check there. Uh, too far. I could have possibly done from the main. Yeah, so we're now we're just gonna be going on the road looking for Cornucopium and Goose. Is that it? No. Mm, that is fine. We're getting some pyramid styles, we're getting some vision. Oh, that's pretty awful, ain't it? What are these guys guarding? Box. Oh, I kind of want the box. Oh, whoa, I can actually join them. That's actually a worthwhile diplo. Oh my god, I'll take it. And then everything about me is like currently fine, so I'm actually gonna be staying here. Wait, uh, build in this town for sure. Um, yes, that will do. Hello, shall me the poorest uh, and brain be with you in this match? Oh, uh, thank you. Okay, so the opponent's conceding mid to me, which is an amazing thing to see. We see a good, a good box and a good archery over there, that's very nice. I do want to take some of these fights, of course, be all for the sake of experience, actually. And then, uh, yeah. Do your top shkas. Mmm, minus one, Sag. Cause stop killing angels. What is that? Anyway, that's a lot of sass away. Uh, mm, that's almost good. Okay, that's actually water too. Not bad. We can go back to Ash then. We can do this. We can Yeah, get the barracks. Our gold like the fact that we control mid with all of these other things on top of that is really amazing. Mm-hmm. For example, if there's like a million beta blows and all the utopias are on his side and all the libraries spawn on his side, then you know. Uh we could be seeing some upsets even for that rule. But yeah. I think shield is still the best here. Yeah, this guy will just not die. It's really good. Uh, Lords of the Pit. Okay. Uh, we can go for all of this, but like, where's my, where's the good stuff, though? Demons can pick this up as well. We should be taking the fights. We still have like an open skill slot for something. Not really sure what I wanted to be in, but we gotta be something, you know. Offense, yeah, let's take the offense. And then yeah, more for the sultans. It's amazing. Uh we can go back, we can get the monastery, and then we're double building angels by the end of next turn. Uh, which is very nice. Uh, we should be buying out the marketplace. Then we have one-to-one -one rate trading ratios. I think. Mm. Wow, the phone's coming to me. What the hell? Um, that's kind of weird, champ. Do I wanna... Am I allowing him to do so? Kinda. Yeah, you know, uh, if he wants to come and fight, we'll just fight. It's okay, actually. <clears throat> Mm, yep, this will do.
Wait, then maybe we should just grab Archangels, even if it's a few of them. Um, instead- no, 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 I should just, uh, play stable. As long as I play stable, then I'll be fine. Hey, if he wants to- uh, if he wants to Fanalka, he's never winning it. So I can just, like, date a Fanalka, it's no problem for me. I have probably the Speed Prio, I can equip all the casting in the world, uh, even more stats. Yeah, all of that is amazing. Ring of Oblivion does not benefit me, so I'm gonna be- I mean, does not, um, do any harm to me, so I'm gonna be equipping it. Yeah, I think that's that. Uh, we are ready. So, is he gonna be fighting me? I mean, I guess he kinda has to. If I didn't, uh, defend this and I went for the Angel Diplos instead, I probably would've been, like, more percentage winning. But I feel like I can win straight up every single time. So there's no reason for me to be evasive or anything like that. Does your new occultist, the monocle, arrive today? No, it's gonna be like in a little, little while. Uh, if I cast a spell like he has over permanence, then I'm gonna be like in a pretty bad spot. But, uh, I could also be just metering him. I think meteor is gonna be the play. Then I gain speed superiority. No, but then I'm getting chained. Uh, hmm. I don't have to, like, uh, make the cast yet, I guess. I mean, I could, though. That's a pretty big one, mostly the behemoths, as well as, like, some other things, too. Hmm. <laughs> I want to check how much damage my Zealous do before I decide which is going to be my play. <laughs> Of course it doesn't have water. I could also gain speed superiority by praying. Uh, praying would then allow me to just... Well, okay. The behemoth standing here kind of make prayer quite a bit weaker. Yeah, I don't kill these at all with the zealots. But if I prayer, then I can actually hit them quite a bit with most of my other creatures. Yeah, I think it's actually prayer. Let's go. Well, I already have speed superiority. I don't have to kill them. Mmm, meh. Unlucky, by the way. If I stand in the middle of them, then uh, the chain lightning is not that big of a threat. Then again, it's hard to stand in the middle of him where when he's blocking the gate. Which is also like another reason to not buy Citadel, because uh, his catapult breaking the walls is actually probably a benefit to me. Hey, Lintalka. This guy is a viewer, right? Uh, yeah. He goes by the name of Kim, I believe. I can just, like, hit this guy more. No, I don't want to. Whoa, they do a lot of damage. Benefit, you want the whole grace and be here in your face. Kind of. <laughs> this is a decent meteor, but I don't want to get chained. So maybe it's protection after all. Okay, I get to kill these, that's good. Then I get to brev here a little bit as well. No, I should protect him from here. Ah, uh, the gate is broken. Hmm, interesting. I should take the retaliation, I think. That lightning bolt hurts. Well, 75. Wait, what? Oh, because I protect him from air. I protect him from the lightning bolt. Lamau. Um, yeah. Get predicted. <laughs> interesting. Hmm. I think this will do. How much frost ring do you compare to Meteor? Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> and it split the damage? It doesn't split the damage, what does that mean? Hmm. <laughs> 
The local upgrade is just about uh, the most uh, OP with 20%. Yeah, but they are like pretty hard to build up, right? You have to build torques, you have to build the 20 wood fort, then you have to uh, upgrade. It's uh, the build path for the ogre upgrade is like very uh, relentless, like pretty hard. Mm. Hypnotize, it's alright. So wait, he now has speed priority, unfortunately. I kind of want to block them from getting in. Bruh. There's a lot of random garbage here, but I think I'll be able to get through it. They will not kill. Yeah, they will not kill. Doesn't even try. Oh yeah, he cannot move around. Okay. That is fine. I think I just hold the door. No, actually I don't. I don't want to get hit by the ogres. The ogres should not be connecting onto anything. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this is starting to look kind of sus. No, no, no. That's fine, actually. What? He's trolling. He shouldn't have done that. That's a bad call. That's a bad play. Huh? I don't see it helping him at all. Wait, he had speed superiority. Why did he waste it? My play is. I think my play is actually air elementors. I don't want to be somehow wasting my cast, so I'm gonna be a little quite diligent in the way that I approach this. Yeah, and we'll start beating down the behemoths as well. It's pretty good. If you haven't cast yet, I know, that's why I cast them immediately. Uh, because he has his cast available, there could be some trickery where he could be preventing me from casting on the whole turn as a whole. Um, that's why I cast in advance in order to prevent any such shenanigans from going on. Um, that's the entire point. Dude, but what was that? Like, that Rust Dragon attack on the Euphrates Sultans was so weak. He should have kept the, uh, dragon alive indefinitely. I am a little bit surprised he didn't. I guess he hits here. Wait, can he even stand here? I'm not sure. I don't think he can. Can he? Can he? No, this is not standable for sure. I can't imagine anyone being there. So, yeah, they're not able to do much. Oh, uh, but did the chain... Oh, yeah, the chain lightning went on the elementals. Okay. Um, that is fine. Yeah, that is fine. Mm-hmm. The media is doing 11.75, the circle, by the way, 4.90. A little bit more to lower level creatures. Could almost hypnotize the bears. But that doesn't matter.
Uh, I finally saw his chain damage. He does have the air orb, unfortunately for me. I still think I win though. I could just get rid of the bears and then start going for the other creatures immediately after. Uh, most of my army would be able to connect, but then again, that would be um, possible walking into a shower. Hmm. I don't feel like he has a shower. No, actually, that's a uh, pretty dangerous assumption to make. So I probably shouldn't. He doesn't have many tools left to be aggressive with. I'm gonna be waiting and. You uh, kinda step here, I think. Can he? No, I'm gonna move back. I need my army spread out. I need him to not, uh, like, catch all of it. I'm almost... I'm like 99% sure he doesn't have shower, but at the same time, I'm gonna be, uh, I may as well not take the 10% chance to lose, you know? There's no reason for me to take it. Ogre doesn't skip like day. Yeah, then why he can't he hit anything? He's too slow. This is like a very sad Agra. Yeah, like a very, very sad Agra. Hey, Martins. Wait, he prayer. Basic prayer, by the way. So now he's able to hit the Sultans or the Demons. I mean, it's still a weak cast. Mm hmm. I think I will connect here. Uh, like this is pretty dangerous. If my angels got hypnotized, I would be in a lot of trouble. A whole lot of trouble. So that's why I need to like spread out my army a little bit. Yeah, I most definitely need to spread out. By the way, the fact that he has a uh, clone, I mean prayer, probably means that he has a uh, teleport as well. You can actually move the ogres like up to this axe and clone them, then one, two, three, four, could hit them. No, that's like stupid though. He can chain here, I mean I am protected. He could maybe like chain, okay, he takes the speed prior. Uh, that's a little bit scary. Mm, well, not that scary. He could maybe hit the angels and make them, um, if he managed to get like a 750 HP Rust Dragon on a Hypnotize, then he can definitely Hypnotize the free angels. Yeah, so if he Hypnotizes the free angels, I'm gonna be in some trouble. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what a stupid fight. But he's running low on mana. If I were to just uh, air spam, then I don't think he can do much about that. He doesn't like one shot on air elemental stack. Fortunately for me. Without summoning him, be best. Maybe by this point. I needed to get this army to be lower so he doesn't kill everything as it moves out. Um, that was like a really important point. I feel like Epton needs to be removed from this map. Nah, I think it's fine. Like, there being some options with like trickery like this is probably a healthy thing now. Even as the prayer, the ogre is still slower than early Kick W laugh, yeah. Well, 20% of blows and oasis, debatable. Mm. Gutting Diplo do not exist? Meh. Okay. <clears throat> Match on Tanza Camp to watch Demon Slayer. Oh, wow. 
50% the Diplo power, swing is too strong. Yeah, but that's the only thing that the case the player that is behind in the game. Otherwise, the player that's ahead will always win, right? And that's probably not a very healthy situation to be in either. Okay. So, he chained immediately. That means I need to... Huh. Wow, he killed a lot with that chain. I could kill the three of the Sultans, and then gain speed prior. And I could almost kill these two. <laughs> no, 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 that's not the play. That is not the play. Oh, what kind of spells do I have? Do I have five spells? No, I don't. I have these, I have these. Mm -hmm. I think I should be summoning heirs. <sighs> hypno afraid? You can't hypno the thing. <laughs> you can't hypno your own creatures. That's not how it works. The only way that I could get rid of it would be... Yeah, I mean... Okay, I think, yeah, we summon. Uh, fortunately, I'm in range of the Pit Fiends. Or are they in range of me? Hmm. He's pretty close to lethaling me. He will also kill the angel right now. Wait, actually I should have moved on the angel. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think he can lethal me. Yeah, I don't believe he can lethal me. I feel like as the chain comes out, I will be able to like summon new stacks that will take it. By the way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Shit. <clears throat> Didn't manage to put up enough. Um, yeah. I mean, I do want to avoid the range too, so. Yes, I mean, his play is like clear. He does not have any choices. And yeah, this doesn't kill. That means I get to summon a new one. That means I probably just win. Ah, uh, probably. Could, uh, would I be getting speed power by killing the Fury Sultans? No, not anymore. I could be getting... No, 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 never mind. I mean, Mass Spell would give me speed prio. Right? Yes. Hmm. Well, but if he has permanence, then he just wins. That's probably not a good play. I think that the uh, summon play here is probably still the best. Yeah, let's risk it now. Sometimes a risk is good because if you don't risk, you're going to be losing out of the way. Analyzing those situations is uh, pretty important. He only has one chain remaining. Ooh, he would kill... Sultans and chain you. Kill Sultans and chain you. Hmm? By the way, can I summon Air Fire Elemental? No, only Air Elementals are available in the template. The other Elementals would be way too oppressive because they are not uh, weak enough against anything. Air Elementals can be, uh, are healthy because they can be countered, at least by chain. They're not like super oppressive uh, like the other ones. <laughs> what an actually stupid situation, though. He has to get his uh, ogres in range, but he will not be able to do so in time. He'll run, he'll run out of mana before the ogres are active, unfortunately for him. Yeah. He's making the right steps right now, but it's too late, I think. Hey, let's see, what are we playing today? Other than Harm, obviously. What are we playing today? Uh, I don't know. I feel like playing some European of Souls 4, maybe. <laughs> it has been a while since I last played that. Yeah, he'll need to chain this, which will chain this, which will not kill this. That's like pretty annoying for him, probably. Yeah, I'm... I'm running. I'm running, coach. The sea kill he would need to, like, hit this, but if I retaliate and kill the Fated Sultans, then this is unacceptable for him. Hmm... Oh, by the way, he actually moves next with the Pit Fiends. That's a little bit bad for me. Oh, but he doesn't reach the big stack. That's good, that's good. 
I think that's good. Okay, let's see. Did you play the new PoE League? A little bit. I haven't played that much yet. I haven't even gotten to maps yet. I'm like super slow in current PoE League for some reason. Wait, he skipped cast, didn't he? No, he cast a chain lightning Im immediately at the start of the last turn, which was the only play he basically had. And now he can cast another chain, but he will die, unfortunately. He's actually died to mana. <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. Oh, by the way, the Rust Dragon, if I didn't have him, I would have lost here horribly. Just so you know, the Rust Dragon is MVP. And by the way, upgrading the Archangels instead of getting the extra Angel from the extra Pog would have been also way more powerful. But, you know, I couldn't have known that he's attacking. I mean, I kind of knew, but like... Yeah, I had to make some decisions. 172 Oxygens! Too strong. Yeah. Oh, before you even summon. Yep. Knowledge wins fights. Brain beats force. Mm-hmm. Is there any morale that he could get? Like, what are his outs? He doesn't have any outs. I think it's over. Yeah, I think it's over. So he has last chain, yeah. One chain. Don't miss a chance to blow. He was a what the fuck and the uh, magic free horn of the abyss. Yeah. Lightning bolt, okay. Alright, alright. So he's looking for the next chain to do a lot of heavy heavy lifting for him, but I don't think it will, actually. Hmm. If I could kill this, that would be pretty influential, but no, I cannot. Air Elementors, come out! Come out, my preciouses. Air Protect? No. Uh, I think Air Protect would be me. Uh, I think that Oxygen is the play that we should be making. With upgraded ogres made any change, yeah, they would have been able to reach things without... Like, basically, he wouldn't have needed to cast a sprayer, that's one thing, then... Uh, yeah, then being, like, way healthier could have been a thing, too. But, of course, it would come at a cost, right? Then he wouldn't have been able to do something else if he did otherwise. So, yeah. Do you think time in the final fight would be a good idea or dumb? Dumb. I feel like you may as well be... Uh, playing out everything to the best of your ability. <laughs> I mean, you have like a long game and it all culminates in the Fanalka. You may as well, you know, just, just play that out as well as you can. So yeah, the, but the most important part is that the air elementals in here and here are not connected with a chain. He will be chaining like many things in between, that means that this tag will probably survive, even if this one gets hit by the pit fiends at the same time, which it will not be. I feel like the spacing here is like pretty much perfect for me, so yeah. Too much uh, oxygen for a point to snip, yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't it be nitrogen, since here is mostly nitrogen? No, it's oxygen. I don't know, just you, got, you can have a limited time to play the best move. Hmm? If Elementals could feel the pressure, uh, he could maybe win, yeah, maybe. Do the Plan to Play Chronicles campaign at some point, and when are we gonna see you play Challenge Map again? Uh, in, the in the last week I played through two Challenge Maps already that I'm... <coughs> <coughs> that uh, me and Raphael are slowly uploading into onto YouTube right now. Uh, then I'm gonna be playing more Challenge Maps to come. I really want the more challenging one, like a very hard one, sometime soon. Then what else is there? I did plan to play Chronicles, but uh, for now I'm like pretty much done with campaigns. I play my fair share of campaigns and I'm not really looking for any soon. But at some point I think I will play through the Chronicles, yes. Now he has to chain immediately, but the chain doesn't do much. Does it bounce here or here? I think it's like 50-50. If it bounces here, then it goes here, 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 here. Fifth bounce, doesn't do anything. If it goes here, then this is a third bounce. That would actually do something. Then it would be four or five. Then this stack, if it gets killed by the pit fiends, that's actually like kind of dangerous for me. Hmm. No wait, these guys survive too, so it doesn't matter. 
then he doesn't have the mana to continue the fight, and that's easy. <laughs> I'll carry for logo. I guess it does, huh? What do you think of playing a normal game, but just having the final fight, the force is auto, so you just spectate how the computer plays and pray? That sounds like a lot of fun, but that's impossible to implement. Well, say impossible, it's pro probably possible by just, uh... A raging, like having the Panalka, but then like raging a new map where the AI plays. I don't know. It seems like uh, it's a fun idea, but it's probably unimplementable. <laughs> Is it a draw if you have someone's own lane and he loses all army? Nope. Uh, winning summons in the one hero format is a win. Can't you auto during fights with other players? No, you you can't. Is there a time limit per turn and fight? Time limit per turn and fight? Uh, no. I mean, for every AI fight, you have like a certain amount of time that you'll be getting, but... Uh... Oh, by the way, can I actually prevent them from casting? Uh, I kill 27 and I kill 3 to 14. Okay. Let's try heading and then... Wait, is that good for me though? Then he would be chaining after. No wait, I can just like protection right now and I win. I think. Yeah, what now? He doesn't have a lot of mana. Maybe summoning is better, but I feel like this is good enough to win. So I may as well do that. We had enough oxygen in this game already. <laughs> These ogres are so sad. Uh, sad ogres. <laughs> Ogre smash! Why can't smash oxygen? Club go through. Wow! He has some oxygen too. Amazing. I'm just gonna kill you by now, bro. Do you realize that? Do you understand? He spies oxygen with oxygen. Well, are you gonna protect them? Or what will you do? He's gonna protect them. No. Oh, okay, so he concedes that part. And I summon more oxygen. You probably didn't expect that. It came out of nowhere. It's okay. You're gonna die. <laughs> okay, so he realizes. Uh, finally. Took him a little while to realize. Uh, thanks for playing. GG's. Uh, there we go. The soul count of the 99 rounds attacker will lose. Y yes, after 100 rounds though, right? Yes, Strong doesn't love me. Go next. Uh, sure. Oxygen Gamer. Yeah, always. Uh, prediction, who wins? It was Lakshav. Hell yeah. Uh, go, go. <laughs> now that's a timer. 21, 9, 2. Damn. Uh, room up. Hello? Go next, sure. Question mark. What do you mean, question mark? 